I keep hearing certain politicians and uh, Hollywood actors and so so on uh, saying they'll just ignore Supreme Court rulings and uh, that really is a threat to the American system because it really is the honor system here in the U.S., isn't it? And I can't help but think if they'd be saying the same things uh, had this been a court confirmation that a Muslim, for example, has the right to pray uh, on a federal property, a school or whatever, uh, at the given prescribed time. I think that their attitude might be a little different. Your comments. Yeah, yeah unsurprisingly, Dr. Jean, your prognosis is spot on. Uh, should this decision have uh, gone in a different direction, uh, you would have seen a completely different response. After decades of regressives, who I call them, because I don't call them progressives, because they're not advancing anything. After decades of regressives highlighting the Supreme Court as the end-all, be-all of all, of all government apparatus, within one week now they want American citizens to disobey and disregard the U.S. Constitution. And that directly cuts against our separation of powers and our constitutional Republican form of government, which is guaranteed by the Constitution itself, frankly. And it's one of those things where you lose a game, you want to take your ball and go home. Uh, unfortunately, their penchant for judicial supremacy has backfired solely because they've made that the, the beacon of all judicial, uh, all governmental uh, administration, when it's supposed to simply be a branch of our federal government apparatus. And again, what we're witnessing is a U.S. Supreme Court saying, and I, and I loved how you and Chris Carter pointed out the fact that this is not an activist course, court. They're simply returning to analyzing the constitutional document for what the word says. There are enumerated rights, and if they're unenumerated, you can't hunt and try to hide your policy preferences under the guise of constitutional law. It's, it's actually uh, the, the pulling the rug from underneath a lie that has been perpetuated as law for far too long, and now we have a majority, thanks to President Trump's appointments uh, on the Supreme Court, that regards the Constitution with the respect that the integrity of our constitutional republic requires.